Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings and a whole lot of love. God is God is God is hot to you here. Came across an article because people don't know that you should set boundaries in a relationship. There are a lot of misconceptions about what boundaries are and do. There are a lot of misconceptions about what boundaries are and do for relationships. We may feel that boundaries are unnecessary because our partner is supposed to already know and act on our needs and wants, or that they ruin the relationship or interfere with the spice. In reality, all healthy relationships have boundaries. A relationship can't be healthy until both partners communicate their boundaries clearly and the other person respect them. Healthy boundaries in a relationship don't come naturally, nor do they come easily. Below is a list of both healthy and unhealthy aspects in a relationship. The healthy part of it. Feeling responsible for your own happiness. Unhealthy. Feeling incomplete without your partner. Healthy. Friendships exist outside of the relationship. Unhealthy, relying on your partner for happiness. Healthy, open and honest communication. Unhealthy, game playing and manipulation. Healthy, respecting differences in your partner. Unhealthy, jealousy. Healthy, asking honestly what is wanted. Unhealthy, feeling unable to express what is wanted. Healthy, accepting endings. Unhealthy, unable. To let go. Establishing healthy boundaries in a relationship allows both partners to feel comfortable and develop positive self-esteem. In order to establish boundaries, you need to be clear with your partner who you are, what you want, your beliefs and values and limits. A lot of times we tend to focus on adjusting to others, taking time away from focusing on ourselves. Setting boundaries for yourself that reflect who you are and who you ultimately want to be will only enhance setting boundaries with your partner in a relationship. When boundaries are not set, that's when people can walk all over you and do whatever they damn well please. Our boundaries, whether they big or small, are important and deserve to be respect respected. Look at these examples of a small and not serious boundary and a big and petty, pretty serious boundary to see what we mean. Your partner has clearly communicated with you that they don't want you to go through or use any of their belongings unless you ask them first. You get in the car to go pick up the pizza, but your car agent won't start for whatever reason. Your partner is taking a nap, so you immediately decide to use your partner's car instead because the pizza place is just down the street and it won't take you long. you back in the house with the pizza 10 minutes later. Number two, you set yourself a boundary that you will not let anyone control what you do in a relationship, and you communicated this boundary with your partner. Your partner calls you and asks what you have planned that evening, and you tell them you're going out with friends. Your partner tells you that you're not going, and if they find out you did, there will be some kind of consequences because of what your partner told you, you don't go out with your friends. In the first example, your partner communicated with you that they don't want you using their belongings without their consent, but you disrespected your partner's boundary by using their car without permission anyway. The reason behind doing against, going against your partner's boundaries may seem, not seem like that a big deal to you, but it could be a big deal to your partner because they actually told you, expressed to you, that they didn't want you to touch their belongings without any consent, and you did it anyway. In the second example, you set a boundary for yourself that you want that you won't be with someone who is controlling you or the relationship. Not only was your partner disrespecting your boundaries, you also weren't being consistent with your own boundaries. Regardless of how big or small the boundary or boundary violation, no one likes to have their boundary be ignored, disrespect, or disrespected. If you break your own boundaries because you are scared of your partner's reaction, that is a huge red flag. In a healthy relationship, you should never feel afraid of your partner's or their reactions. Peace, blessings, and a whole lot of love. Setting, healthy, setting boundaries in your relationship is healthy for the both of you.